welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. These are mods for Monday the 28th of November. I'm back. I was away last week with my wife uh, for, for that week. So, yeah, mod reviews are hopefully returning to normal. Um, sorry for the delay. Um, I They dropped quite late yesterday, and then I remembered I had a dentist this morning, which was brilliant, so I've got up to do that. Updates. The map, the Angevin Countryside by Mael LTA, the lands of La Mancha by Progar Modding, and the Rizu Forest by JM Gaming have all had updates. Uh, the Lizard 320 Excavator by North Modding Company, the John Deere XUV865E and Cargo Cart by Agrotonio, the New Holland 8340 by 750Ti Modding, the Raba Sturmvogel by Vertex Design, the Krona TX460D by LS Agra Ule, the Amazon ZATS by Shardy Homeless and Ukashek, the Lizard Shortwood Trailer Pack by HR Forst and Fazoigbau, the Global Goods Transport Pallet by 82 Studio, the High Vis LED Lights Tractor um, Front Weight by Scandinavian Vikings Mod Rebuilds Team. The Multi-Purchase Pallet by John Wayne 1930. The Modern Metal Shed Pack by JJ at Northwest Mods and Edits. The Wholesale by Zonalzokt. And the Multifruit Buying Station by 82 Studio. Massive warning about that. Most people will have read through the chainsaw if they haven't already. That's adding in, I think, the, um, the Pallet one as well. Uh, uh, productions from the Platinum Edition. However, the Multifruit Buying Station by 82 Studio, if you update it, is, it's wrong. It's all kinds of wrong. It's added in. I've got loads of them because I use them on my test maps. Um, it's added in all the production stuff from the Platinum Edition, but it's taken out loads of the main crop types. Uh, so I'm assuming that's going to get another update. So if you haven't updated it yet, if you're using it, the Multifruit Buying Station by 82 Studio, don't update it yet unless you particularly want to be able to buy um, all the various different things from the Platinum Edition, but I, I would imagine that's going to be updated. Um, that's it for the updates. We're going to start here with the, I want to say Gewicht, I think the Gewicht 600 kilogram by Agra Modding. Front weight, 0.82 megabytes download, one slot on console, you'll find it. Under tools, under weights, out on the end, one grand to buy we can change the main color to anything on that palette is a john deere one so you can go for john deere or any color you want um 600 kilogram weight as you can see very nice indeed now, on the back of that we have got this this is the lizard sam 3t by speedy uh, 4.71 megabytes download two slots on console 3000 liters capacity Nice looking trailer. You'll find it under trailers. Three ton, two wheel, five grand to buy. Slot count comes down to one from two. Main color does the chassis. Design color does the sides. Rim color does the rim. That's it. No other capacities on it. That we we'll start her up. To have lights, to have indicators off unload doesn't tip just unloads like that but then to be fair for doing stuff in small barns when you've got low ceilings and that kind of thing trailers like this can often be very handy it doesn't have any tension straps or anything like that but it's a nice little trailer uh, there we go that's the lizard sam 3t by speedy Next, we've got this. This is the old concept hut by Solar Guy Modding. 21.33 megabytes download, seven slots on console, 150 grand to buy. As you can see, quite rusty. It's seen better days, but nicely made. Interesting construction. You'll find it under build mode and sheds. Just there. Slot count comes down to one. Like I said, 150 grand. Doors open independently of each other. I think the ones at the back do as well. So you can have it drive through if you wish. 
Uh, lighting was over here. Turn on lights. There we go. That's the old Quonset hut by Solar Guy Modding. Next, we have got the Manure Bassin. Bassin? By DMI 20mm Normandy, 3.31 megabytes download, 7 slots on console, 12,500 to buy. With the 450,000 litre capacity we can put in and take out of this, I've put slurry in. I, I was hoping that it was going to have, um, you'd see it kind of filling up, but I think it must have a cover on it. Because I've put 100,000 litres in this, just over 100,000 litres, and there's nothing, nothing, not nothing, nothing showing under build mode, under silos, just there. 450,000 litre capacity, in, out, slurry. Lovely. That's by DMI 20mm Normandy. Next, we've got the cow barn with pasture. Uh, this is by Missy B. 6.37 megabytes download, 12 slots on console, 80 grand to buy. Nicely made, nicely detailed. Dialogue box is here, closes the cows off if they're inside. Put them in and out, if you wish. Come on. Why have I lost that? There we go. Thank you. Um, slurry point is at this end, which makes me believe, although there's no tanks or anything inside, that's going to be the milk point, taking your milk out. Bedding and feed was both done in here. The lights are on all the time, these red lights. I haven't found a light switch, they just seem to be on. And it does the job, it holds your cows. If you want um, to get manure from it, you have to place a manure heap or a manure heap extension, because it does take straw. Uh, if we go to this one here, we should be on... Is that the brown Swiss? It is. The one at the bottom there. So as you can see, productivity is now at 10%. We've got a little bit of milk straw in that same slurry, 100,000 litres, that's because it's picking up the slurry tank, the slurry store from there. I put 100,000 litres in there, so the 104s obviously come from the, from the cows. Um, so it's registering the slurry's kind of storing between the two. So you could probably do that if you wanted to place one of those. You could extend your slurry storage if you want to, because there are slurry ex storage extensions. Uh, build mode, animals, cows, that one in there, cow barn with pasture. Holds 80 cows. Um, slot count comes down to one. Lovely. That's by Missy B. Next, we have got an entire pack. This is the Thuringian, I think. It's Thuringian Farm Set by Castor DS Agra Service. 45.39 megabytes download. Now, this is interesting because this brings us chicken manure. We've got some eggs going. Um, but the whole pack, we're going to start over here, then we'll work our way back to these, because um, that's kind of just the order I've done it in, really. Um, we're going to start off with the cow pasture, I think. So the cow barn here, nine slots, 210,000, it will hold 60 cows. Again, with this, I the triggers for bedding and feed were inside. That door does open as well. The milk tanks are there, which makes me believe an educated guess would be that the milk point is here, the slurry point is at the other end. Again, you're going to need to place a manure heap if you want to get manure from them, which I have done at the other end because part of this pack as well, there's a small manure heap. We'll have a look at all of them in the build mode in just a moment. So I've got the manure heap, and as you can see, we have got some manure in it already. The manure heap, three slots. 8,000 uh, to buy with a 4 milliliter capacity. There is also a um, uh, manure heap extension. So there's the manure heap, manure heap extension in this pack. If we come from there, we've got this. This is the barn with storage, hay and straw storage. Nine slots, 198,000 to buy with a 350,000 litre capacity. Putting in can be done here with loose material or I think up there, which I'm going to test in just a moment. The bottom section of this is all barn and storage space with drive through here, but the rest of it is all storage. The top section being the hayloft. Taking out is done from here, regardless. At the moment, I think I've got, yeah, 30,000 litres in there at the moment. So what I was going to do was just test this because, uh, I don't see the reason why it wouldn't be, because it's got a trigger up there. So not only can you put it loose and you should be able to put bales in as well. 
about to find out anyway. There we go. So it'll take your bales, it'll take loose either way. And like I say, when you're ready to take it out, so we should have straw and hay in there now. There we go, 20,000 litres of straw, 30,000 litres of hay. Yeah, and you take out from this side. So that's your storage one. We've then got sheds, which are over here. So we've got the shed small. That's three slots. Mid was three slots. Big was five slots. Small, middle, big. There's no lighting on any of these, but we've also got this barn without the storage, which is seven slots. That's through here. Now, this doesn't have a ladder or anything to get to the upstairs. There's nothing inside or outside, so you might have to either use ladders or a telehandler or something if you want to get up there. I don't see any reason why you won't be able to store things up there. There is lighting. I didn't show on the other one, actually, but there's lighting inside, which does the lighting upstairs as well. Actually, what I'm going to do, let's just go and grab the uh, telehandler so we can have a look. Yeah, solid floor. So if you want to use it as a hayloft or storing pallets or anything you want, I um, mean, you might be able to lift up or get up here a small skid steel load or something if you wanted to. Oh, we have got an independent light switch up here as well. Although that's not showing up, is it? it Seems to be quite low. But anyway, yeah, so that's the barn portion. They're, those are on the sheds. We have a gate. The gate is three slots. I'd like to say I'll show you all the prices. I'll show you where they are in the build mode. We have a gate section, so if you want to build it all up and close it all in and you know, however you want to go about it. It's only open from that side. That would be just my luck. Hmm. That's curious. Why is that not opening at all? Well, there's a gate. Fast and unfastened tension belt. Hang on, I've had this before. Why has that suddenly appeared? Oh, there we go. There we go. So, gate section. Then we move to the chicken pens. There are three chicken pens. We've got one that's 1,250 chickens, one that will hold 2,500 chickens, and one that will hold 5,000 chickens. You can't go in there. You can't see in there. Dialog box for each one is on the front. Feed trigger on each one is down the side where the silos are. These take straw as well. Now, interestingly, on the smallest one, the straw trigger appeared for me right here where the dialog box was. On the medium-sized one, I went to the same place and the dialog, uh, the trigger didn't come up for straw. It appeared around here, around the side. Um, so you might just have to just search around, but that's where I found it on the small and the medium. Um, these are uh, seven slots, eight slots, nine slots. And again, we'll have a look at price in just a moment. But this also comes with in this pack, and I've placed these on here. These are additional. I'm hoping there's something in there by now. There you go. Um, so chicken manure. So these are the extensions for the manure. That's got 83 litres in it. Is that going to be sharing it, or is that going to be a separate one? That's showing zero, which is interesting. Maybe I need to put it on the side. Or maybe that one's taking it from both. So that's how you get your chicken manure out. So if you put straw bedding in, you can get chicken manure out, which is, you know, why wouldn't you? They are producing manure. So where are all of these things? Let's start with sheds. So we've got the shelter small, 12,500 to buy. Shelter middle, 18,000 to buy. Shelter big, 24,800. And the barn, that's without storage, 158,000. If we go to silos... We've got the barn with storage, the hayloft, in essentially, 198,000. Manure heap, as I said, eight grand, four millilitre capacity. Then there, the manure loading station. Now, this doesn't come with a back, which is also quite interesting. If I return, turn it around, look, there's no... So it needs to be placed up against something for it to work. So that's your manure loading station. Uh, I've done it predominantly for the chickens. I 
Um, I don't see why it wouldn't work for the cows. Maybe it would. I haven't, I haven't tried it with the cows, but I think it was it's supposed to be for the chickens, as far as I'm aware. It just says silo to store manure, so it should work with either. If we then go to silo extensions, that's where you'll find the extension for the manure heap and the extension um, for the loading point. If we go to... What have I missed? Spawns my emergency system. Animals. The cow pen is the one right on the end. 210 grand it is for that cow pasture. Or cow pen, cow shed. If we then go to... Oh, hang on, no, we're going to go back to there. If we go back to our animals. And we go along to our chickens. That's where you'll find these. So, the smaller one. They're not cheap though. 350... No, hang on, other way around. That end. 234 grand for the small one. 286 grand for the middle size one 356 grand for the largest it says chicken fattening but as you can see we do get eggs as well so this isn't just for fattening them up it's not like a, a cow pasture where you don't get milk or anything you just fatten them up you, we are getting eggs as well so yeah quite a bit in this pack oh yeah decoration under decoration under others we've got the gate on the end 6500 uh, slot count was three comes down to one um, there's no fencing or anything that comes with this pack. I think that's all of it from the pack. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, that's the Thuringian Farm set by Castor DS Agra Service. Uh, moving on from there, we've got this, the KUHN GA3201G by Kopi. 5.34 megabytes download, four slots on console, 2.9 meters wide. This is a wind rower. You'll find it under tools, wind rowers, out on the very end there, 4,500, only 25 horsepower required. We can change the main colour to any one of those reds. Got a dark, rusty, metallic -y red on that one. Rim colour, again, same thing, anything on that palette there. That's all there is to it. Starter up, unfold. Turn it on. I have unfolded it. There we go. Drop it down. Let's drop down. And there we go. We are windrowing. One pass up, one pass down. You can put the windrow in the middle. If you want to do it that way around, you can. There you go. The KUHN GA3201G by Kopi. Lovely. Uh, next, we've got this. This is the Lizard Doff X11. This is by Ola Haldor. It's Norwegian made. It is 8.39 megabytes download, eight slots on console. It's got an 11,000 litre capacity. As far as I can tell, it's about a 16 metre spread width because it doesn't actually say. There's a few different options for tyres and things. Nice chonky design I like it we can activate double um, um, double activation yeah we can activate double spreading as you can see I, me I measured it using the um, tool down the bottom there go to the edge which was about 11 then went out to the other side and it's saying they're 27 so I mean about 16 maybe 15 16 meter spread width turn that off You'll find this under slurry tanks, out in the very end, 50 grand, 120 horsepower required. We can have Trelleborg, Michelin, Vredestein, BKT, back again for your tyres. That's it for your choices. We start her up. We do have the option under L1 and right stick side to side to adjust that nozzle. So when you're loading or unloading, if you want to be a bit more kind of immersive, realistic, however you want to go about it. Turn it on. So it will run at 10 miles an hour on single application, but if I apply, activate double application rate, like so, and then we do it, it will slow it down, but we are apply, applying both of our fertilising uh, amounts in one go. It will get through it a lot quicker, but it saves you having to go over the ground twice.
Do I have lights on it? Work lights. I do like those lights. They're cool. Indicators on the insides. Nice. That's the Lizard Doff X11 by Ola Haldor. Moving on. We've got this. This is the Pertinger Terrasem RS. I think it was the RS, wasn't it? Again, terrible handwriting. R3. <laughs> I knew as soon as I said I'm thinking that could be a 3. Uh, Terrasem R3. 19.07 megabytes download. 13 slots on console. 3 meters wide. This is a direct drill. Holds 3,000 litres of seed. Just seed. It doesn't do seed and fertiliser. It's a standard seeder. It's, it's not a planter. So I'll do your regular seeding type crops. This by Melody 98. Nicely made, nicely detailed. You'll find it under seeders. 49,500, 100 horsepower required. Slot count will come down to one. Design, no or yes. That puts a little toolbox on the front there. Main colour, and that changes the top of the feeding unit I guess the at the top there the round disc section and then there's a license plate option on there too jump in start her up we do have ridge markers left right or off so if you want to use the ridge markers you can if we just put the left one on for example start it up we can open close cover puts the ladder down as well for putting our seed in um, I was just going to say, lower it, as you'll see. So the ridge marker will do your ridge, that's the whole point of it. And then when I do my pass back the other way, so if you haven't got GPS, you just line up the middle of the nose on the tractor, that little bit on there, which we'll do now. Which will mean that you'll get perfect coverage and then what I would do, if you haven't used ridge markers before, you might have done that. If I follow that right in the middle there, I should be covering perfectly and then put my ridge down for the next pass along. If you want to go a bit more immersive, I don't always show the ridge markers, but as you can see, perfect coverage. Direct drill, three metres wide. Very nice indeed. Voting at Terrasem R3 uh, by Melody98. Moving on. We've got these. This is the uh, Buggy Cart by Sloyd Chess Modding. 5.9 megabytes download, five slots on console. I've gone for two different ones, one with nothing on it. Oh, I've got lights and a flag, but and this one's got all the cage and all the protective stuff just to make sure you don't uh, harm yourself. And I'm glad I did because when I drove out, I thought I'll, I'll do a jump over something and I tipped on its roof immediately. That's the kind of thing I do. You find it under vehicles, cars, just there. Not bad price, is it? 5,600. Slot count comes down to one. 83 horsepower. Top speed of 65 miles an hour. We can have race hard rim, sport rim, race rim, style rim, star rim. Back to race hard rim. We've got Front protection, we've got window, grill, or no. Side security, yes or no. The mesh on there, lights, yes or no. Flag, yes or no. Bar safety, put some, some foam padding and stuff around there so you don't bang your head and stuff when you get in and out or if you, if you roll it over. Uh, then we've got main colour. Does the framework. Design colour does the seat. The next design colour will change the protection. Oh, actually, I'll do a different colour so it stands out red. Uh, so the protection on there and the flag colour. So design colour, if you've got a flag and you've got the protection on the bars, um, it will change the colour of those. And then rim colour, anything on that palette. We've got a chrome, we've got a grey, and then we kind of roll through various different options, depending on what wheels you've got. Very nice indeed. Now, there's no suspension on this. This is just a, this is just a cart for fun. So don't expect to get leaning, bouncing. You know you're going to take some knocks on this. But 
lights. I do like the fact that as you move, the flag moves around behind you. These are just for a bit of a giggle, really. First person. It's up some race circuits with your friends. I did try the rear hitch pin thing. I couldn't get it to hook up to a trailer. I thought I'd have a look, because you never know. Might be quite handy for feeding your animals. <laughs> but there you go. That's the buggy cart by Slutches Modding. Cool. Now move on to forestry. We'll go over here first. We have got the Prenoth M650 pack. Uh, this is by Nikopixies. It's 6.02 megabytes download. We have got the M650 205, three slots, 2.1 meters. And then we have got the M650 255, which is four slots and 2.6 meters. I think the standard in game one is 2.3. So we've got 2.1. A 2.6, yeah, so these go either side of the standard in-game one. These are designed for stump grinding. Um, you can push stuff around with these, push the trees over, whatever you want to do with them. Um, the Raptor, obviously, is this, I'm only looking at these bits. The Raptor I needed because um, that's what they attach to. But you can also have the option on this for cultivation. So you can not only stump grind, but you can also get rid of trees, uh, well, not trees, sorry, bushes, small vegetation and you can give yourself a bit of a cultivated look um yeah these you'll find under tools and forestry so the standing game one is there the m650 yeah 2.3 meters so the m650 205 2.1 meters 200 horsepower required cultivation function yes or no you can't turn that on or off once you've got it. So, but you can take it to a toolbox or a workshop, and you can change it there if you want to. And then we got the uh, 2650 255, 2.6 meters, 350 horsepower required on that one. Cultivation function, yes or no. No other options on there. I went one with, one without. So what we'll do is grind the stump out first. Drop it down get rid of the stump which is what it's designed to do um, on both of these we have got the ability to on the L1 and right stick side to side we can move that up and down once that's on the ground that doesn't that doesn't cultivate or do anything like that and there's no option for um, create fields or anything like that on it let's raise that up and then we've also got that can open and close now I did wonder because I did try it whether or not once the tree was in the ground we could mulch the tree and get rid of it. It just seemed to work more on stumps. I mean, you can. It's just, it's just not the most efficient. It will do it. Now, something I was unaware of, and this is unrelated to the mod review, this is the standard Raptor, standard in-game, base game Raptor 300. Part of the Platinum DLC, it would appear, now we've got winches and... Um, cable yarders on the back of this that little winch bit that used to hang out the back that is now a usable winch so if you haven't I, I, I haven't used one of these since the game came out so this is the standard in-game Raptor 300 uh, attach that so the winch does work on the back of the Raptor which is pretty cool that's, a, that's an aside that's just kind of I'm throwing that in, in there as a bit of extra information turn that off and then if we go for the other one I've gone for cultivation on this one as well do is lift that up. We'll get rid of the stump. But as you can see we are cultivating two. The stump will go but it will also because we're cultivating it will remove bushes and things as well. That's the Prenoth M650 pack by Nico Pixies. Next. 
we've got this. Oh, where is it? Oh, right, that's it. This is the 669 Buncher by Gamer Designs. 29.71 megabytes download, 15 slots on console for the main vehicle. And then the Buncher head is two slots, two meters wide. I was puzzled as to why this came separately, because there's no, unless they have an intention of bringing out some other attachments that will go with this. There aren't any other attachments that come with it, just the head. So I thought it would come as one unit, but it does actually come as two separate units. This is a bit of a beastie. Although, um, it's, well, I wouldn't say it's a, a glitch. You'll see what I mean. I, I'm not particularly au okay with using these. I'm not a big fan of the, the fella bunches. I know they work very well. They do a job. They have a place. I'm just not very good at using them, in all honesty. Um, you'll see what I mean in just a moment. But if we go to our vehicles and we go to our forestry machines, right in the very end, the 669 bunch, 175,000 to buy. 15 slots comes down to one, 257 horsepower. We've got the option of Trelleborg or Michelin. The Michelins are much wider. Uh, then we can change the main colour to anything on that palette, like so. Rim colour to anything on that palette. And if we go to our tools and forestry equipment, oh no, not quite in there, you've got the 669 bunch of heads, six grand. Um, slot count will come down from two to one. Again, well, I say again with this, we've got the option to change the colour to mix or match up with whatever you've done with the main unit. Now, let's start it up. Horn, you can raise and lower. That's the size it goes, and then we've got a tilt. Now, these are designed to grab the tree, pick them up when they've cut them and then you can lay them down place them wherever you want now obviously there's a limit to how far you can tilt these you just want to get it as high as it goes and then tilt it right the way forward it won't tilt and lay it all the way down the ground but you you tilt it to a point where you can release it and the tree will drop to the floor l1 r1 and up and down and i can open and close that so that's how you're supposed to grab the tree So, what, as far as I was aware, I mean, a, a good operator, I guess, would do it all in one fell swoop, but you kind of want to get to the tree and grab it. But as you can see, the disc would need to be cutting in the real world. In real life, the disc would hit that and it wouldn't do anything. So what you would normally do is you would go up, you would be cutting, you would cut and close all at the same time. So if I go L1, R1 and right stick up and down, if I take that all the way and close that right way around the tree, it doesn't like it. It flips it all over the place. So realistically, at this point, that's kind of where I want to leave it, just for the time being. If I do all the way, it does that. It does not like it. So again, just something to be aware of. Let's just tilt the head back again to where I want it. So, about there, I'm going to close it so it's just touching the tree. Then I'm going to turn on the tree saw. It's kind of grabbed it, but what I want to do now is really grab it. But if you really grab it, you do get a little bit of that. I have found, me personally, on, I'm on PlayStation 5, you get a little bit of jostling. I might want to just release it a little bit. But then whenever I get it to where I want it to be, I lift it up, tilt the whole lot forward, Turn the saw off now. You see what I mean? The, the tree's kind of decided, nah, I don't want to be in there anymore. I haven't even released that yet. So there's a little bit of the, the, the sort of in-game tree physics going on still. It does the job, uh, you know, we can detach and attach the header, but that's the only thing that attaches to it. I haven't tried a wheel loader header or anything like that, but I think I'm just looking at the hookup. As far as I know, this is the only thing that goes on it. Can you get another thing to fasten tension belts I'm quite sure why that started happening um, interior visibility is good it's a little bit like it's not quite frosted but um, it's like a whitish tint to it sounds great it's a big old unit like I say I I may not have done that just I'm not a, I'm not particularly great at operating the, the sort of fellow bunches bunches you know um, but that's what it does. 
the 669 Buncher by Gamer Designs, which brings me on to the last of the mods for Monday the 28th, and it's this, and this I love. It's just awesome. It's a bit of a one-trick pony, to be fair, but it's still awesome. This is the Class Zerion Wood Crusher. Wood chipper, but it's wood crusher by Kenny456. 27.47 megabytes download, 31 slots on console. I've gone for two different options. We've got the twin wheel, which I think looks just awesome anyway, and then we've got the uh, tracked version here. This is a wood chipper, which is attached to the front with a crane, with a pipe, with its own back on it. 30,000 litres capacity. We can set that to low or high unload, so it'll unload this height or it will raise up so it can unload into higher trailers, um, I would say silos, containers, various different things like that. But it's, a, it's, oh, it's so cool. I, brilliant. Um, you'll find this under forestry machines. That one in 450 grand, it's not cheap. So we've got the standard 440, sorry, the Zerion 4500 wood crusher, 490 horsepower. We can go for the 5000, 530 horsepower, or we can go for the 5000 wood crusher anniversary, which changes some of the decals on it. It still says the 530 horsepower. Adds a little bit more on the price, changes a little bit on the cab as well. Um, puts the top bit from Zerion to class and makes it white. If, if you want that, that's your thing. So we've got um, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vredestein, Class. Under Class, you've got the Track TS. So if you want the Tracks, you want the Class option. If we go to the next one, all of them have a Track VC or a Track VC Twin. All of them. I won't go through all of them, but they all have a single and a twin. Then we've got an EU or a US version, which puts the light stalks out, changes a little bit on the cab as well. And then license plate option on there too. So let's hop in. Actually, it doesn't matter which one we're going to. Start her up. So we do have toggle steering mode L3. So at the moment we're on all wheel steer. You know, front wheel steer only, or all -wheel. there's no crab steer, all wheel steer. We've got 32 miles an hour, so it's no slouch. At the moment, it's set to tip side low. If I unload here, there's nothing in it, but it will unload there. So the back will open, it will slide it across, and it will unload. That's tip side standard. If I go tip side high and do it, it does that. And you can see more of the area underneath it, but that is just fantastic love it. So I say for the higher trailers and stuff like that, if you've got more capacity, this will hold 30,000 litres, which is just, you know, not to be sniffed at in its own right. Let's close that back down again. So that's that section. If we then go to unfold wood chipper, it opens up the crane. Now crane works as most in-game cranes do. L1, right stick up and down, side to side. R1, this is PlayStation control obviously. There's that and that. L1, R1, you can rotate the head and open and close it. Now, don't be put off by the crane because in all honesty, all you need it for, if you've got trees already knocked down, if they are leaning on something, so if they're off the ground already, you can just feed these directly into the chipper. But if they're on the floor like this, all you really need the crane to do is just lift it, just ever so slightly, if I get a bit closer. We just need to lift it up, really. If I close that on there, lift it up, bring it across, and then feed that into the the feeder house, the throat, however you want to refer to it. If I turn on the wood chipper, and then what I should be able to do is release that. Once that's done, the rest it just does automatically. You don't have to feed it in anymore with the crane. Once it's on the belt, off it goes. The pipe doesn't need to be unfolded or move, it does it all itself. You don't have to deal in the trees first if you don't want to, just knock them all down and away you go. <laughs> now, obviously, there's different ways around of doing this. If I turn that off, fold the wood chip up again. Put that all the way and raise up. Now, what you could do, if you're being, if you're going to be using this for wood chipping, you could be say smart about it what you could do is knock one tree down bomb 
one direction, delimit, then if you're going to cut down your other trees, you could then use the winches and stuff, or cranes, or whatever, and you could lay your trees just on top of one, so they're just off the ground a little bit, then all you have to do is really drive up with this, and it, they should feed into the throat straight away. But if not, like I say, that's what the crane's for. Um, but I, I just, yeah, it's a brilliant bit of kit. Lights, beacons, our strobes. I always say this and always have done when I do my mod reviews. I love it when something's a bit different. I haven't encountered anything like this before on Farming Simulator. I just think it looks fantastic. Interior. If we unfold again, what I will do is camera angle. So we're outside inside and then we've got the crane one which you get on a lot of cranes now i have noticed i don't know if this is intentional if you look at the uh, crane grab one side's got the sort of flat spade side to it the other one's a claw i'm assuming that's intentional it's not just missing the little spade bit maybe but in all honesty i love the tracks but i think there's something a little bit more I don't know, I just I like the look of this. And obviously if you're doing steep hillsides, having the twins on this will give you a bit more stability on the hillside. Are they not just brilliant? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Getting sidetracked somewhat because it's cool. The class is over on Wood Crusher by Kenny456. That's it for the mods for Monday 20th, 28th of November. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you choose to do. Thanks for watching.